There's my boy Dylan pulling up just in time. Welcome back to our Tivet YouTube channel. My name's Trevor. Today we're going to be installing the harmonic balancers, the new one, the ATI Super Damper. We're going to be installing that on our 1997 Chevy Corvette. And I'm just going to warn you guys right now, it is super windy and it's only like 35 degrees outside, which is why I got my mask. I'm going to keep my face nice and warm, my nose nice and warm. So, Anyhow, I'm gonna get my tools out there. Let's begin. Gonna make for a cool trophy, maybe. We'll see. In out with the old, in with the new. Let's go. All right, so for this, we got a little bit to clean up in there first. Grab that down here. All right, so now that we're getting ready to put the new balancer dampener on there and our ARP bolt. This is our ATI. ATI super damper. This is keyed as we can see right there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this high heat, high temp RTV gasket maker right down in that groove, but only in that groove. I don't want it on the inside of the damper. And then we'll step over to that and press it on. So let's get some of this on here. Some RTV high temp. All right, now we got that high temp RTV in there, looking mighty fine, and it's not touching any sides or anything. Get all this little extra off the back too, just like that. There we go, now we're ready to put that on there. And we are going to be using the old harmonic, or blah, 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 harmonic balancer bolt. And what we're gonna do is put some of this um, torque uh, lube on the end there you can see it's got a lot of oil but we're gonna put some of that torque lube on the end of it too stick this guy in there walk this on by hand first doesn't matter how we line it up on the crank because it's not <coughs> excuse me it's not keyed so it'll go on there we're just gonna kind of use our hands push it on a little bit and then we'll go to the OEM bolt which we're gonna torque to 230 pounds foot-pounds 230 foot-pounds all right so Dylan's gonna start walking that onto the crank just like so oh. all right there we go so that, that's how walking it on goes I mean pretty simple so now we'll grab our OEM bolt and our torque lube from ARP, slap some of that on the threads. This is just gonna help it not seize up in there and not be a pain to get out again. Because uh, like you guys seen earlier, this was a pain in the butt to get out. Good old starter trick. So once we get some of that on there, we'll go ahead and put it on start threading it in by hand as far as we can get it and then we'll get the wrench out with the 516 socket and get her to come on out up to 230 foot pounds torque so i have to also grab my torque wrench which luckily is sitting right back here so that didn't go very far Sorry about the wind today. It's Kansas. Can't expect much. All right, so now we got that guy ready. I'll go ahead and set it to about probably 200, maybe 150 at first, and then just keep going. All right, guys, so now that we're putting our new pulley on, our, I'm sorry, balancer on. As you can see, we've got it locked on there. You have to use the correct long bolt and then this nut and what you're going to do is put this on your nut, screw this one of these into your crank. For whatever reason I happen to use, I use this one which they say is for four, but it works. So you screw that in right up in here. You just stick it on in there, screw that on and then you screw this on. It's not. And you keep doing that until you get 
until you get the pulley. Well, I gotta quit calling it a pulley. You get your balancer on, your damper, and I knew that I was done with that tool once this started spinning because it, that was a lot of pressure on it, a lot of um, torque on there. So once you got this spinning, you should be able to use your old bolt, your old crank bolt. And so what you want to do with this is you go ahead and you put that on in there, put some anti-seize on the threads, screw that in, and you want to torque this down to 230 foot pounds. Again, you torque this down to 230 foot pounds, and then you take it out, and we move on to step number, I don't even know what number this step is, but we grab our, our APR washer, and bolt and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some of this ultra torque lube on it so I'll set you guys right here maybe right there there you go and we want to put some of this lube on both sides of the washer so we want to get enough on both sides of the washer here so I'm gonna go ahead and just dab some on there put some on this side too just like this and we're just gonna smear it in like so make it nice and pretty and the reason we do this is because we don't want there to be any friction on this washer Hey, we got a new corporate sponsor. Or on this bolt. <laughs> I gotta edit that out now. <laughs> this video is not sponsored. And then we're gonna go ahead and put some on the on the head of the bolt here. Hope you guys can see that. So I'm just gonna smear some on there. Get our bolt ready to go down. I mean our washer. So there we go, we got it on the underside of the bolt head, on the washer, both sides. And then last but not least, you want some on the threads, which we've already put some on these threads. So they're ready to go. We're officially done with the lube. Throw that away. I'm gonna clean my hand up a little bit here with this. Clean up the bolt, cause I got it all over the bolt head. Now we get ready and we're gonna grab our 27 millimeter socket. Don't hate for the mask, it's cold. It's snowing out here. And I got Dylan convinced that we're gonna get this done. So he's out here helping me. <laughs> so we're gonna slide this on the inside there. Show you guys that. Get our new ARP bolt put in. Start spinning it. And now she's going in, which is great news. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves back on, get my 27 millimeter socket, and get to going. There you go, boys. We just got our torque down 235. 235 with our 27 millimeter. Oh, Whew. oh man, I'm so excited. It's snowing out here. It's cold and the new harmonic balancer, the ATI super damper is now installed on the AV, the Corvette. And I couldn't be more excited. The only sad thing now is that, let me just, let me take you around back here. We got, we got to show you around back. Yeah, she got a little damage back here. Oh, now we got to install the sway bar and we got to put the steering rack back in. I have some videos on how to remove that and the plan here is to show everybody the process however it's going to be broken up into videos i'll have one showing how to remove the steering rack and then um i removed the alternator so i'll have a video for that then i've got a oh what is it i haven't done one to remove the sway bar because it's super easy just these bolts here 
those bolts there and then a couple bolts on the side to hold it onto the control arm. So then that's part of the process. But then removing the crank bolt and the old balancer is another step in the process. And this is finally the installing of how to put it in. So be sure to check out any of those videos. I will try and put cards up or links in the description of this video showing you how I removed all that stuff so you guys can check it out if you need to. If you guys enjoyed this video, if this video helped you out, please smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click that red subscribe button and we will catch you in the next one. Whew, let's go on a drive uh, after we get all this stuff put back in. Yee yee. watching that power steering right there. I don't see no leaks. Doing check for leaks already, so it's all good. Look at that belt. She's going great too. Smell a little something something. Let me put this cover back over. Over this starting bolt. There we go. I think I need a tensioner for my AC now. Well, that good old ATI pulley looks like it. She's doing good. Yep, I would say that tension right there is bad. But checking everything else over here. She looks good. Job well done. Bought that dang AC pole. I legit bought two new pulleys as preventative maintenance didn't think to get the tensioner need the tensioner need to check my power steering fluid here she's probably low low yeah we need to add some up in there oh man i couldn't be more happy Whew, makes these late freezing nights worth it we're gonna go ahead and put these wheels on and get on, get on with it. Go on the first drive, maybe even a little bit. They seem to have done it. We have three people. Yep. Three people. Three people on. <laughs>